Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, January 3rd to January 15th, 2023. Happy New Year to everybody. Hopefully everybody had a good New Year's and everything's all good. So, what do we got here? Probably not going to be a very big flyer this week, uh, I wouldn't think. But after Christmas, it usually, you know, slows down a little bit. But anyways, let's have a look here and see. Oh, they got those lifting straps on sale again. $5.55. That's pretty cheap. Wow. Some tie-down straps, eleven ninety-nine for two fifteen foot. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. Fifteen foot. Sometimes I get those twenty-five foot. They're just way too long. But I haven't ever really cut one off yet. But I guess you could. You could cut them down if you thought they were too long. But then there's that time you're going to need that big long one, and then you won't have it, right? So, anywho, uh, camp stove again. Port of power, high auto body, and frame repair kit. Nice. Diesel fuel transfer pump, 10 gallon a minute. It's not very much, but I guess it's better than hand pumping, we'll say. Hook onto a 12 volt battery. Oh, these are pretty good. $4.88. 72 inch moving blanket by 40 inch. So it's just over three feet. That's not really that wide, honestly. I don't know about that one, but anyways. Still pretty cheap. I guess you could sew them together if you needed to. All right, a couple ads. Steal of a deal. 20 foot. I think that's what I kind of got there when I had to lift the uh, that big crate off the trailer for the sawmill there. We, we went and got a couple of these here and used that and used them once. <laughs> that's it. But anyways, got some shelving stuff here. That's all right. Oh, that's a neat one. Corner shelving. Hmm. Vacuum system, dust collector. Folding ramps. I got a set of kind of sort of like these. A little different, maybe. Something like that, though. Parts washer. Some little dollies, moving dollies and stuff. Ooh, nice big toolboxes. Yeah, that's all right. Moving carts and stuff. Nice. Shelving unit things. Hooks for your shelving unit things. <laughs> Totes. Ooh, rubber floor tiles. Nice. Thirty-six ninety-nine. Wow, they've gone up a lot. I remember, remember back in my day when we used to uh, run our little mini Z remote control cars around there. We uh, we got the foam tiles. That's what we made the track out of. And I don't know. They were like eight or ten bucks for like a pack of four or whatever of them. So. That added up too, though, back then, but anyways. Filters, masks, lights. Headlights. Nice. Bernie. I just got a new coat. Kind of not really like that one, but sort of like the one I normally wear. I found another one there, so it's good. Some working winter flex time gloves. And thin slate C40 water resistant goat skin. Oh, wow. Poor goats. Wow, 2199 for a multi handler, 200 multi purpose welder. This three in one unit allows MIG, TIG, and stick welding. A metal's up to three eighths of an inch. That's not very thick of a metal, really. Three eighths, I guess, isn't too bad, though, but we were welding stuff we were into like half inch size buckets something like that so yeah well that's about right tig and stick welder i kind of like to try tig i've never tried tig before but metal i know has to be like super clean stuff so but anyways l-shaped welding magnets more magnets mag drills Drill press. Very nice. Pinch top metal bending brake. Metal bending brake. Metal forming stuff. Pipe benders. Little electric log splitter. It's kind of neat, actually. Motors, electric motors, 
Linear actuator. Hmm. Interesting. I don't even know what you'd actually use that for. Ramps. Ramps. These arced ones are probably pretty pretty good ones. 3,000 pound. Hmm, too bad compared to these ones here. Pretty crappy. One of these things for the back of your truck. I think we've seen that last time. Winch pull. Some seats. That's all right. Some very nice seats. Some lights. Oh, that's neat. Look at the brake light. Signal lights. Reverse light, too. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Wow, it's only $21.99. I wonder how that hooks up. Hooks into your... What that hook into your... Uh, trailer hitch stuff, maybe? I wouldn't get a reverse light, though, on your trailer hitch lighting. Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure on that one. Pretty cheap though, twenty one ninety nine. That's that's all right. Hmm. Oh, look at these little wee straps. Are they actually a ratcheting strap? They are too. Wow. Ten foot, one inch, ten pack, fifteen hundred pound rating. That's pretty good for a little wee guy like that. These things are really good for uh, tying down like dirt bikes into a trailer or something. Maybe a little light for that, but I'm sure they'd still be pretty good. There's some more lifting straps. Yeah, ones like these would be a little better. I've got some of these for tying in dirt bikes and stuff. A little better. 2,500 pounds. A little thicker material, too. Right? These would be uh, pretty chintzy. Ten pack of them? Yeah, it would be pretty chintzy for 30 bucks. Oh, man. These ones are kind of neat. It ratchets the whole thing up into like a seatbelt kind of roll thingy. It's kind of different. Oh, they got lots of straps on this week, don't they? Hmm. Surplus! There we go. Himalayan salt cooking slab. Wouldn't that just split apart? I don't know. Well, that's neat. Farm seam doormat. I'm sure I've done a puzzle that was quite similar to something like that. Some more strip lights. 32 feet. Wow. it's pretty good. Speaker wire. Oh, that's quite a mouse. 15 bucks. Hmm. Antenna. Outdoor antenna. Oh, yeah. They're getting into some of the battery stuff here now. It looks like Porter Cable. Let's need a swivel rubber. Why would you need that to swivel, I wonder? Wouldn't you just move the hose? <laughs> Earbuds. Well, that's a neat little socket set. You can throw that in the back of your car or something. If you needed something later on, fix your car while you're out in the middle of nowhere. Here you go. You got some tools. 45 bucks. Extensions, too. Oh, it's all right. Surplus. What is this? Car seat dog hammock. Oh, no way. A few pup pup things here. Pup pup. That's what we call her. Our girl there. We call her pup pup the other time. Or if she's there's another dog coming, like Paisley, look at that pup pup. She knows what it is. She knows it's a dog. Wow, refurbished. Wow, refurbished. I don't like that word much. Snowblower, electric snowblower. So what? Someone. Took it, brought it home, charged it up, tried it. Yeah, I did my dry. I don't like it. Let's take it back. I don't know. Don't like that refurbished word much. Barbecue stuff. Ooh, nice. One inch pistol grip. Ooh, man. 1,500 foot pounds of torque. As long as you can put the air to it, you'd probably need to have a, ooh, at least a half inch airline going to that guy. Yeah, 
more air tools. Nice big compressor. Wow, $3,700 on sale though. Woo, that's enough. 30 gallon two stage truck mount air compressor. What does it put out though? It doesn't really say here. Is there any more info on it? See more info. Twenty one CFM at ninety PSI with a max of one hundred and seventy five PSI. Twenty one CFM. That's not too bad. Yeah. But that's pretty pricey though. Don't need any more air compressors for myself right now. <laughs> oh, that's a neat little one too. Actually that reminds me of the one my stepdad just replaced his one with that he gave me. Showed you guys in one of my last videos there. Um it's a super quiet one. It's 25 decibels. No, that's not right. 80 decibels. Something like that anyways. It was super, super quiet. Um, actually, if we look on here and go... Uh, we better do this first. Air... Air compressor. Let's see if I can find the one that he got there. And it's... Um, Pretty good little unit. For all he's going to really need a whole lot of air for. Now, I think it's this one here. Yeah. Quiet. And it is really quiet. I just, we, we fired up. I'm like, what? No. It's not like the traditional. It's an oilless one, but it's not the traditional real loud ones. You know, it's it was quiet. I was quite surprised. 53 decibels. There it is. Yeah. 53 decibels of sound. It's really quiet. Like, I was amazed. I'm like, wow, this is great. I almost need one of these. <laughs> so quiet. But that was the last one he bought. So, but it uh, doesn't put out huge piles of air. I don't know if it's going to tell us on here. Uh, yeah, there's six CFM at 90 psi. So, I mean, that's not too bad. That's that's really all he needs. It won't keep up to like a. Uh, sandblasting or any of that stuff but he doesn't do any of that so anyways anyways all good so this one's quite a bit smaller 4.1 this would be a lot oh this has got an oil reservoir in it. okay hmm so of course we got air hoses there's some nice big stuff there's that half inch yeah half inch stuff quite a bit bigger a lot more volume can go to your your tools Some other tools and drill bits and wood drilling bits, countersinking bits. There's a nice abrasive blaster I used. Uh, my one that I homemade here and it actually still worked pretty good the other. You know, I went doing that hood and stuff. More sandblasting, wire wheels. More wire wheels. These are good. I like these little things, especially for sharpening like an axe head or something, like an axe or whatever. Really good. Little rotary files. Drill brushes. Snowmobile drive on dolly set. Nice. Blowback CO2 pistol. Probably only get about five or six real good shots, and the rest of them are like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't really like those CO2 ones too much. They look pretty authentic, though, don't they? Wow heaters and stuff keep your lunch warm lunchbox stove another ratchet tools desk magnifying lamp that's kind of cool there's a magnetic sweep thing see i still think we need to drag some of these magnet things under your car i'm gonna try to suspend one under my car or something. I might get stuck to the car, though. I might flip up and <laughs> onto the car. It's the only thing, right? But that'd be neat to see what you pick up off the road. There's a good hammer set for 45 bucks. That's pretty good, actually. Wow. Those are brass, though. Imagine all these brass. Not this one, maybe. Oh, yeah, this one. Say if all five of these were brass, man, you'd probably be about 600 bucks. <laughs> the brass hammers are wicked expensive here. But anyways... Nice ball peen. I've got some sort of like these. They look like I changed their design a little bit, but rivets, 
Some nice chisels. I think I actually got this set in my shed there. Something like this. I don't think I paid that much for it, though. But come in a little box, like a holding box and everything. So it's kind of nice. Some clamps and some taping measures. And some pliering and uh, snap ring pliers. Those, wow, that's quite a set. How many of them do you do you need? I wonder. Different sizes, I guess. Uh, hemostats, I think they call these, those locking things, yeah. Torque wrench. Click type torque wrench. Look at this little guy. That's kind of neat. Some calipers and some wrenches. Ooh, nice ones. I wonder if these are any good. Of course, some hydraulic stuff. Primary wire. A frame trailer jack. Dual chuck extension tire gauge. Trailering stuff. Zip ties. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like for towing stuff, and I guess you stick those on or something. Magnet, magnetic, maybe. Huh. Trailer lights, kind of neat. Dirt bikes. No, it's just the carrier. $119 for a dirt bike. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Wouldn't it be? Wheel barreling tires. Trailer tires. Oh, there's a shop crane. Or the vehicle lift, sorry. The vehicle rotator. That's kind of cool, too. And some more jacks. Hydraulic jacks. Oh, that's kind of neat. Electric pallet jacks. Now you got a battery to worry about, too, in there. But anyways... Cordless grease gun. Ooh, neat, neat. Telescoping short, low-profile welded telescoping bottle jack. 10 ton. That's kind of neat. Some hoil. Two strokers, it looks like. Yeah. Snowmobile oil. Portable jump starter. Kind of small little guy. Maybe it would be all right, but... Battery analyzer. Hey, that's neat. Let's do more info on that. Hmm. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> it's a sneaky one. My bad. I'm sorry. I should have warned you about that. NOCO. What is this? Power Sport Batteries. Hey, that's kind of cool looking. Nice. Battery warmer, an old type of battery tester. I kind of like these ones better because they do like a little more features on them. M mine one does any of my top don. It works pretty good. Diesel fuel can. Nice if they came full too, but not likely. <laughs> Infrared brooder lamps. Threaded rods. Oh, a bunch of different stuff. Half inch, five eighths, one inch. Wow, nice. Some nuts and bolts and miscellaneous stuff. Washers. Clevis pins. Cotter pins. You know, I guess that's it. Well, I wish I had more of an ending kind of thing, you know. Instead of just, that's it. But anyways, I guess that's your two-week Princess Auto sale flat. I thought it would be a little bit shorter. Only 55 pages, not like 90. Like the <laughs> last Christmas one. Gosh, that was huge. Anyways, that is from January 3rd to the 15th of January, 2023. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. You guys have a good day and happy shopping.